Welcome to Bite at a Time Books, where we read you your favorite classics one bite at a time. My name is Brie Carlisle, and I love to read and wanted to share my passion with listeners like you. If you want to know what's coming next and vote on upcoming books, sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com. You'll also find our new t-shirts in the shop, including podcast shirts and quote shirts from your favorite classic novels. Be sure to follow my show on your favorite podcast platform so you get all the new episodes. You can find most of our links in the show notes. But also our website, biteatatimebooks.com, includes all of the links for our show, including to our Patreon to support the show, and YouTube, where we have special behind the narration of the episodes. We're part of the Bite at a Time Books Productions Network. If you'd also like to hear what inspired your favorite classic authors to write their novels, and what was going on in the world at the time, check out the Bite at a Time Books Behind the Story podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. Please note, while we try to keep the text as close to the original as possible, some words have been changed to honor the marginalized communities who've identified the words as harmful and to stay in alignment with Bite at a Time Book's brand values. Today, we will be concluding 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. Chapter 23 Conclusion this ends the voyage under the seas. What passed during that night, how the boat escaped from the eddies of the maelstrom, how Ned Land, conceal in myself, ever came out of the gulf, I cannot tell. But when I returned to consciousness, I was lying in a fisherman's hut on the Lofaden Isles. My two companions, safe and sound, were near me holding hands. We embraced each other heartily. At that moment, we could not think of returning to France. The means of communication between the north of Norway and the south are rare, and I'm therefore obliged to wait for the steamboat running monthly from Cape North. And among the worthy people who have so kindly received us, I revise my record of these adventures once more. Not a fact has been omitted. Not a detail exaggerated. It is a faithful narrative of this incredible expedition in an element inaccessible to man, but to which progress will one day open a road. Shall I be believed? I do not know. And it matters little, after all. What I now affirm is that I have a right to speak of these seas under which in less than ten months I have crossed twenty thousand leagues in that submarine tour of the world, which has revealed so many wonders. But what has become of the Nautilus? Did it resist the pressure of the maelstrom? Does Captain Nemo still live, and does he still follow under the ocean those frightful retaliations? Or did he stop after the last hecatomb? Will the waves one day carry to him this manuscript containing the history of his life? Shall I ever know the name of this man? Will the missing vessel tell us by its nationality that of Captain Nemo? I hope so. And I also hope that his powerful vessel has conquered the sea at its most terrible gulf, and that the Nautilus has survived where so many other vessels have been lost. If it be so, if Captain Nemo still inhabits the ocean, his adopted country, may hatred be appeased in that savage heart. May the contemplation of so many wonders extinguish forever the spirit of vengeance. May the judge disappear and the philosopher continue the peaceful exploration of the sea. If his destiny be strange, it is also sublime. Have I not understood it myself? Have I not lived ten months of this unnatural life, and to the question asked by Ecclesiastes three thousand years ago, that which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? Two men alone, of all now living, have the right to give an answer. Captain Nemo and myself. Thank you for joining Bite at a Time Books today. While we read a bite of one of your favorite classics, Again, my name is Brie Carlisle, and I hope you join us tomorrow when we read the first bite of Pride and Prejudice. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com and check out the shop. You can check out the show notes or our website, biteatatimebooks.com, for the rest of the links for our show. We'd love to hear from you on social media as well.